Welcome into Drew Daily Diamond for Thursday, October 16th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got one NFL Thursday nighter coming your way and then a two pack of college football. So let me know in the comments below what your picks are for tonight for this weekend. All is welcome. I'll be in there chiming away with you guys. It helps out the algorithm. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. Also, if you've been profiting with us, guys, we got the Tuesday recap here. Two and one plus 0.9 units. That makes us 26 and 12 on the show. 68% win percentage. So, uh, hey, giving it all out for free here, guys. And that's 68% win percentage. Again, it's not minus 150. 50 minus 170 and then claiming the win percentage no 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 we're factoring in the vig plus 12.52 units of profit hundred dollar better up one thousand two hundred and fifty two dollars if you've been following along on the show let's get into the games 8 15 eastern 5 15 pacific amazon prime nfl game up first denver and new orleans broncos minus two in the hook there is a couple minus threes as i'm doing this show the night before as the road favorite 37 being the total Headline here, Sean Payton, the head coach, coming back to his old stomping grounds in the Big Easy. Should be a big storyline on the broadcast. Quarterback situation here, Bo Nix, Spencer Rattler, two rookie quarterbacks going to be squaring off. Rattler only making his second start of his career, 22 of 40 last week, two interceptions, one touchdown. This is a New Orleans team. You know, they won the first two games of the season, and then they lost four straight. So injuries are killing them. Big, long injury list here. Uh, their best wide receiver, Chris Olave, uh, likely out with a concussion. Actually, cluster injuries at the wide receiver spot, which sometimes injuries in the NFL can be overrated because, you know, the backup's also a professional. But when you get these cluster injuries, that is something to watch. And New Orleans on the defensive side of things, allowing over 34 points a game on average in their last three games. That's the worst in the NFL. They haven't stopped many people here. It's not like Denver's offense is all that great of shakes. But the Broncos are 3-0 against the spread on the road this year. Two outright wins against the Jets and the Buccaneers. I'd lay the two and a half here, guys, like the Broncos to go into the Big Easy, knock off the Saints by more than a field goal. That's how we're starting off in the NFL. We'll turn the page here to college football. ACC conference matchup, 730 Eastern primetime on ESPN. Lane Stadium, Blacksburg, Virginia. We get Boston College and Virginia Tech. The Hokies, minus seven-point home favorites, 48 in the hook being the total. Both teams off of a bye, so not a short week for either one. Boston College comes in four and two, but they have dropped three straight against the spread, so they've been a little bit overpriced here. They're also just one and four, their last five ACC games going back to last season. So against like talent, they've struggled a little bit. Virginia Tech, just 500 on the season, three and three out the gate with their three losses, though. Pretty respectable. Vanderbilt, Miami, and Rutgers. That's a pretty good Rutgers team. Of course, that Miami game, what, a couple weeks ago? I thought they really should have won that game. And then uh, Vanderbilt, that was actually week one. And since then, that loss isn't too bad. So I, I, I'm looking towards the Hokies, guys. Head coach Brent Price coaching them up. Their quarterback, Ken Run Drones, 1,200 passing yards, 8-4 to four, touchdown to interception ratio. He can extend plays with his feet here. Virginia Tech won the last two years in this matchup. I like going back, you know, two years maybe in college football with conference kind of matchups here. 75 to 32 on the scoreboard. They won both of those. So it, they've kind of dominated Boston College. Now it's Thursday night in Blacksburg, Sandman playing. This is a tough spot to play for BC. I think they're going to have trouble here. Virginia Tech just went on the road in their last game. Now they still have the extended preparation time for this one. And they won 31 to 7 over Stanford. One of the few teams in the ACC to really go cross country and look that that strong. I'm going to ride it here. I think Virginia Tech's playing a lot better football. Uh, Boston College kind of played their better football in the beginning of the year. Not that they're a bad team by any by any means, but being a little bit overpriced, losing three straight against the spread. Guys, it's the Hokies. They've taken money. I think it's with good reason. Minus seven pretty much across the board. We're on the Hokies over the Boston College Eagles. We got one game left here. Reminder, if you could comment below, it helps out the algorithm. You've been riding this, this streak, looking to keep it going here. Thursday night football. Got the client cards coming out here on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. College football, the NFL. Trying to pick out a couple spots here with the MLB playoffs. Been a, haven't been firing away as much, but the football run, guys, it has been great for the clients. What, 17 and 6? 
uh, football run. So you can get the 5% NFL. It is up and available. And we got the uh, long-term packages where you can buy like the rest of the year and get next year, things of that nature. So check that out. Drew Martin, experts page, wager talk. Dot com. All right, last game up, heading to the Sun Belt here, ESPN2. So two games going to be going on at once in college football. And for, for some of this time, you know, all three games, it's Georgia State and Marshall. Marshall, the thundering herd, split line here, minus eight and a hook, minus nine, depending where we're shopping, 51 being the total. Huntington, West Virginia, it's Marshall hosting Georgia State. Both teams... I'm looking at this total, guys. Both teams top 45 in terms of offensive tempo, uh, seconds in be- in between snaps. If you're going to look to bet overs, you always want to look at that stat because you don't want these teams just kind of huddling and watching that clock run. So both of these two teams have shown they are uh, looking to go up tempo on offense. Sidewise, Marshall's 3-3, three and three, but they're 6-0, and oh, depending what number, 6-0 and oh or 5-1 and one against the spread. Their only loss being last, last, week they were up 23 to 3 in the fourth quarter and they lost to georgia southern they kind of gave that up in the fourth but they're coming back home they're three and zero at home georgia state's two and three on the season they actually beat vanderbilt but they've lost some head scratching games you never know what you're going to get with the panthers side if you're looking to bet them that's why we kind of see this number flirting with double digits and marshall's running back aj turner he's averaging nine yards a carry so they're gonna have their work cut out for him stopping that run game and georgia state has not been good at stopping the run i mean they're in the 100s in most defensive categories you know across college football they allow more than 400 yards a game so i think marshall's going to be able to go up and down the, the field and score and marshall's defense is pretty much flirting with the 100s as well they, they haven't been stopping all that many people so with the tempo from both offenses and both defenses really struggling, I, I actually like this over, guys, over 51. I was looking at Marshall because Georgia State, they, this is their first real road game. The, I think the first game of the year they played Georgia Tech, which Georgia Tech and Georgia State are like within five miles of each other in the city of Atlanta. So this is the first time they're going to have to be getting on a plane. I'm a little bit worrisome of that for, for the Georgia State side. That's what made me look towards Marshall. But even more so, guys, I, I think this 51, I think I think it's a little low. I think this gets in the upper 50s and beyond. So we're going Georgia State, Marshall, up and over 51 to end the Thursday show here. Drew's Daily Diamond. Hopefully keeping the winners coming, guys. Let me know in the comments below uh, that you're watching. Smash that like button. Check out premiumpickswagertalk.com. We'll be back for tomorrow's show. Come back and join us on Friday. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Cash those tickets.